Type 1 diabetes is a huge epidemic in the United States. There's more than two and a half million people here who are affected with the disease. And unfortunately, most often, it's, it's affecting young children. Diabetes is all about optimization of blood sugar levels, keeping them within a certain range. That requires a pretty difficult mathematical calculation of the exact dosing of insulin, and this is exactly what the so-called artificial pancreas aims to automate. The artificial pancreas really is a system that listens to a patient's blood sugar, just like your pancreas does, and tries to uh, predict and anticipate what may happen next. But the key element of this technology is uh, this little mathematical brain that directs insulin delivery and controls the diabetes of a person. For a patient, they would wear their normal continuous blood glucose monitor, they would wear their insulin pump, and then they would use a mobile phone, and that is what is listening to those devices. So for them, it truly is just you know any other application on their phone. We did start up a company named Type Zero Technologies. What we're providing is the means to automate the control of diabetes, to make it optimal, to avoid complications, to avoid scary situations. We're trying to help reduce the mental burden as well as the activity burden for the individual. We have the opportunity to use some of this amazing technology that came from UVA. And for us, it's about making sure that we you know, live up to that obligation and get it out there. People are testing the system and they are getting used to it reasonably fast. There's no more question about if. It's just a function of when. Well, very soon, there will be a smartphone app that will take care of someone's diabetes. This will change our lives.